we uh, had a bit of a delay here with the with the stream equipment, so I just went in and loaded the quest already. Uh, I guess what we're hunting. I actually don't know what we're hunting. I'm actually sitting yeah, in for Greg. Know. He knows way more than about most ahead of me. <laughs> so um, that, Greg, Greg is off taking, uh, I think, PC screenshots of DMC presently. So yeah. Uh, in case you couldn't tell, the game looks quite nice running on a PC. Yeah, it's one of the nicest uh, ways to play DMC. Speaking of things looking nice, Yuri, uh, Monster <laughs> 3 U is uh, HD, is it not? <laughs> it is HD, uh, 1080p. Um, 10. Yep. We're running off of 720 right now, right? For right. the streaming. Yeah. Yep. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's quite beautiful. You can see all the lovely details, uh, higher resolution textures. Uh, the, the image is a lot crisper than before. Uh, everything just looks a lot prettier. Even the even the stuff like the, the menus and the icons and everything, it's uh, you know they, they just didn't up res things. They just uh, well, what, what's the right word? They just didn't scale up. They really right. up res things. Yeah. So uh, there's that. Just went back in and uh, cleaned it all up. Yes. Nice. So what? I'm sorry. I was uh, was updating our Twitters. Did you say uh, the monster in which we will be hunting? Uh, right now we're doing the nibble snot. Nibble snot, right. Which I had never heard that word before and saw it up on the stream and I was like, is that a yeah. Thundercats reference? I'm not <laughs> really sure what's going on. You know me neither. And uh, we're getting some, uh, we're getting the great uh, localization notes, right. as we, we call the, the vlog series about the monster names. Mm -hmm. And they've been quite, uh, quite good to have. You know, we've no, never had it. something like that before. Right. It's good to get some insight. Yeah, it's always cool to see like what... I mean, even when you're translating anything, there's translation and then there's localization, and there's always multiple ways you could handle just about everything. Right. So it's sometimes fun to hear the rationale behind choices. Yeah. I hear um, uh, Zen Ogre and Gen Ogre is causing quite a stir. <laughs> yeah, it was a big debate for a long time. Uh, subject of debate, debate, and now so is the nibble snark. Uh, as, uh, as you can see on the screen, he's uh, snarking those monsters down. Lunch, lunch time. Arkanoff says upscales are better than no scales. <laughs> and yes. So tell me some what tricks for this monster. Look at that oh, Eula. I know, huh? Eula representing that. So uh, we'll start with the tricks for the hunter first. See, I'm using here the dual blade. So I have two short blades now. And I'm getting to but just because I want to show you guys cool stuff, you know? Right. So yeah, it's an exhibition. Fast, exhibition stream. Yeah, nice. fast attacks. Uh, yeah, I'm not going for triple S ranking here. <laughs> so you know, we have very fast attacks, and uh, some of them have even uh, two elemental uh, attributes here. So you could have one that's fire on one blade and ice on the other blade, and then you know, being very versatile and all that. So you have that. And the main thing about the dual blades is that you can charge it up with some, you know, increase your attack speed and power, uh, and then get sort of moving like that. But that takes away stamina. So if you're gonna use a dual blades, here's a tip: Mega Dash Two. It uh, stamina stops decreasing, so that can be powered up all the time. Nice. And it gets me this neat little dash. Oh, cool! Which no other weapon really has. One dual blade. Then you can wail away at the wave. The sand wave. <laughs> there you go. And so I'm guessing uh, if I was just, you know, coming into this completely, you know, cold, I've never seen this monster in action, uh, I would assume you want to try to get in and do some damage to that mount, is my guess. Uh, there's, you know, there's some breakable parts. Uh, I think you know, they're known in the series. You can break things like, you can break things like his little ears. We're going to the gills, sort of, yeah? Uh, and I believe the uvula can also be taken down. But I mean, look at it, I feel like it has to be. Look at it, yeah, it's very prominent in the design. <laughs> I remember mean, that was one of the first screens we ever posted oh, on Unity. Yes. I was like, damn, look at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's quite interesting. Uh, one thing I'm gonna show here, if uh, I've never seen, never seen this game before, there are items that are uh, barrel bombs, you put them on the ground, and then you get to set them off 
explode a monster to create, deal a lot of deal a great amount of damage. And uh, this guy has a big mouth, so he might swallow one by accident. Or maybe not. Uh, well, I've heard animals like him dislike smoke. Uh, anything like the dongo. I assume this could deal a huge amount of damage. Yeah. So. Uh, Let's see here, maybe I spoke it too soon. Uh, he ran away to a different area. Oh, there you go. Cha cha. Oh, no, there he is. Oh, oh yeah, ran to So, let's see. Oh, sorry. Let's see if he falls for it. Yeah. It's a hunting game, you know? You gotta set up so little baits. Dubious see hitbox they... on that. Oh, yeah, yeah, he went through it on the side and left. Sort of. Let's see here. There it comes. Pretty good. Oh, I think he swallowed one of them. Both of them. And kaboom. Wow, nice. <laughs> oh, this, now I'm so now this. they're stuck in the ground. You can attack or you can come here and throw something at him and mash A and try to fish them out of him. There you go. Oh, weird. So there's neat little tricks like that. Uh, Is there a, a benefit to wailing on him in the sand versus fishing him out? More you can deal with his weaker longer, I guess, if you fish him out? Uh, yeah, there's that in... Uh, or he's vulnerable longer. He's vulnerable longer. The other thing is, as you, as you take him out, there's these contextual items that they drop, and represented by this little shiny icon, yep. and uh, doing that to him, fishing him out almost guarantees that he'll drop a shiny thing, and here you go, the quiver tier. And there it is, uh, you know, a little pro tip to it. There's a little thing, if you can't, if you don't mash A enough and you uh, and you don't fill up that bar completely, you end up, uh, there's there's a bad outcome to that. He ends up pulling you in and he takes a bite. Oh, oh wow. Something like that, I don't recall exactly. It's, uh, yeah, if you just, uh, just tuned in or, or missed the beginning, like they are actually uh, playing uh, three ultimates on the early build of the Wii U version. So. Yeah, yeah, Monster Hunter 3 ultimates. Uh, but the saves do transfer between uh, 3U and 3DS, yeah. um, which is very cool. Um, probably the most attractive, I think, that's ever made the series. Um, someone like me, and I think a lot of people, there's you know, the time hurdle. Like, there's no getting around, and this game's a massive investment. Yeah. Uh, it's a great value for uh, you pay 60 bucks, you get a game that's going to last you hundreds, if not into thousands of hours. Um, but having it, being able to transfer a save from one place to the other. Like, I mean, that's just, it makes it a lot more feasible. Yeah, uh, there's that too. But, you know, obviously for work we travel a lot, so, you know, if I'm traveling, I don't have to quit playing Monster Hunter all week while we're <laughs> in San Diego, you know? It'll be, uh, pretty cool. And you might possibly run into a Monster Hunter Gathering, if it's like that. Yes. Depending on which event you are. That's true. So, oh! Just saying, if you're going to be in the Boston area, although I guess PAX East tickets are all gone. Uh, uh, are they already? I'm sure. I, I, Sure. They I mean, go pretty quick. I mean, Pax is like, if you mention it, it's pretty much gone. Whoa! Yeah. Um, but yeah, I would, uh, if you already have your Pax tickets, it's definitely worth keeping your uh, eyes and ears open for Capcom yeah. things at Pax. So, yeah, the, the other thing I was going to say is, even if you're not traveling a lot, you know, you can still benefit a lot from this, uh, ranging from things like train rides to, you know, waiting uh, doctor appointments or, you know, yeah, uh, the, what, what is the register a motor vehicle, man. DMV. Gosh. Talk about something that takes a lot of time, you know. Every time I go there, it's a day trip. You know, I've always, I've always waited for that day, but every time I go, I'm only there for, like, an annoying amount of time, but never like the like cartoon level of, of <laughs> disorganization that ever that I keep hearing. Yeah, I mean, no, it's... 32, so I've been there quite a few times. But it's like, yeah, I think the weirdest trip ever was when I first moved to California, and they always have a framed picture of the governor, whatever state you're in. <laughs> Oh, wow. having, like in yeah. the buildings, and like as I'm getting my driver's license picture taken for California, I've got like smiling, looking at a picture of Arnold Schwarzenegger, and it's just like <laughs> the most bizarre thing. Nice. And that was kind of old news now because he's been gone for for a, quite a while. But it's like, yeah, it really, really hits you when you're standing there in a government building, and it's like the governor Schwarzenegger. <laughs> yeah. 
and then you go through it all over again, like, really? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Um, so if you in have the chat, questions. remember to look for Monster Hunter clubs in your area if you get a 3DS. You get the 3DS. Because the Wii U is online. Yes, um, but, but 3DS, you know, going back to the PSP games, is uh, some yeah. solid local app. Yeah, and, uh, you know, there's, uh, there's a great benefit to that. There's nothing like yeah, playing in with people in the same room. Exactly. You do the same thing with Street Fighter. It's like, yeah, online same. is great, and it's great that it oh. works. There you, go. there you go. I didn't even do the finishing of the final hit. So it's probably top chair. I am. So now you loot him? Carp. <laughs> Proper terminology. <laughs> uh, anyways. So, yeah. You get about three carves per monster. The majority of the large monsters is three carves. Some of them are four. Uh, some skills may enhance that. Just a lot to know here. <laughs>